people for enslaving the Most High's people, which consists of Judah, the Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indies, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manassa, the Cubans, Gad, the North American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Nepotale, that's Argentina to Chile, Ashar, the Cubans to Uruguay, and Isacor, the so called Mexicans. To tell y'all that we need to come back to the law, statute, and commandments of the Most High. When we out here fishing for the elect and the elect only. Because two thirds of our own people will not accept this truth. The laws and the statutes was only given to Israel, not any other nation. We come out here facing. Actually, we're going to open up with Jeremiah 10 and 2. Start there. Because the reason why is because in a couple of days, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans is going to worship and celebrate the downfall of the North American and, and Reuben Indians and the, and the Latin tribe that was here in America first, known as Thanksgiving. That's actually the white man giving thanks for slaughtering you Negroes and Latinos that was here in America first. You see what I'm saying? They call themselves pilgrims, but actually Israelites are the real pilgrims. Pilgrims just mean wanderers. And the Bible tell you that the Israelites are the real pilgrims. Matter of fact, let me get the, I'm going to get the scripture while you uh, speak Jeremiah 10 and 2. It's Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And what's the way of the heathen? It's the uh, pagan holiday known as Thanksgiving. That's right. That's the way of the heathen. Because who are the heathen? Anybody that's outside of Israel that's not of the elect of Israel, because hell, even two thirds of our own people are considered heathen. That's right. So mainly it's talking about learning out the way of the heathen. Really, number one, talking about you white people. You the ones came up with this pagan holiday known as Thanksgiving. That's right. Which really represent the slaughter of our people of the northern kingdom of Israel, the Gad and Reubenites, and the Latin tribe that was here in America first. That's right. See what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hold on one second. I'm going to get this scripture, 1 Peter 2 and 11, to prove who the real pilgrims are, since you white people call yourself pilgrims. 1 Peter 2 and 11. Dearly beloved, this is Paul speaking, I mean, uh, Peter speaking. It said, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims. Who is he talking to? Israel, you Negro, Latino, and Native American. That's right. It said, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul. What's part of their fleshly lust? Right now it's coming up, Thanksgiving. That's right. That's part of their f fleshly lust. You want to go eat that turkey, that cranberry sauce, that dressing, you know what I'm saying, them chilling, them fat backs inside them green. That's right. You know what I'm saying, them pork neck bone, them uh, pork pig feet and pig ears. You know what I'm saying, that's the fleshly lust. You want to desire the, the, the filling of your flesh on that day, not knowing it's commemorating the slaughter of your brothers, the, the Gadites, the North American Indians. That's right. Go back to that, uh... Oh, hold on. Let me finish reading this. It's lucky. Verse 12, it said, Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, 
How's our conversation honest among the Gentiles? Telling our people not to celebrate this pagan holiday known as Thanksgiving. You see what I'm saying? And it's saying, whereas they speak against you as evildoers. People do speak of us as evildoers. Because we tell them not to celebrate that pagan holiday known as Thanksgiving. So they look at us like we're evildoers. Why can we tell them not to celebrate that holiday which they want to fulfill their own fleshly lust by eating that abominable food? See what I'm saying? They sinning against the Most High. It says, they may be your good works, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Meaning if they take heed to the words that you're saying, then they'll take hold to the word in the day of visitation when you have by shooting out with Shama come and destroy this place and maybe they be delivered if they take heed to your word. If not, guess what? They're going to be destroyed. Let's go back right. Let's go back to there, bro. Right. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus says the Lord. See, thus said the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. What is that? Thanksgiving. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Just like when you see a blood moon or an eclipse, don't be dismayed. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Those things will tell you the time of the day of things that's to come. That's right. Those are warning signs for Israel. That's right. Just like Nat Turner said before he started slaughtering them crackers, them Edomites, he looked up in, in the heaven and I think he, he saw an eclipse or something. The Lord showed him some kind of sign in the sky to let him know it was time to start slaughtering them crackers during that time. That's right. Known as the Nat Turner Rebellion. Uh, and that that turn of rebellion, I think they will celebrate with Thanksgiving or one of them pagan holidays. Yeah, one of them holidays. Because uh, he, he got them while they was full and asleep. Yep. You know? okay. For the heathen are dismayed at, the, at them. That, that's right, the heathen are dismayed at them. That's why they be worshiping them. They put them up as God, like uh, Islam. They worship the moon god, Hubal, but they change the name to Allah. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Just like you got other, uh, like the Egyptians, they worship the sun. They call him Ra, or the Eye of Horus. See what I'm saying? That's right. They, they put them up as idols and gods. We're not supposed to do that. Those are just signs of the times for us to know the different seasons, to know when, when to plant our crops and when to harvest our crops. When it's time for the new new moon, for us to uh, honor the Shabbat, meaning the Sabbath. You see what I'm saying? Those are the signs of, of the time for us. Not to go by this Gregorian calendar that this white man set up, but really we don't know what day or time we in. It could be, hell, right now it could be 2019, or it could be back uh, 1991, who knows? Because it's still days missing off this white man calendar that's not accounted for. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because why? He didn't go by the new moon. He didn't go by the sun. He didn't go by the stars. The alignment of the planets. He didn't go by that. He That's came right. up with his own idea and philosophy. That's right. For the customs of the, the customs of the people are vain. That's right. The customs of the people are vain. They amount to nothing. They're wicked, man. That's why you have the Negroes. That's why these crackers. These Edomites, these so-called white people, have you Negro and Latino and Native American out here celebrating Thanksgiving, man? That's a vain custom. You're not supposed to be doing that, man. and commemorating the slaughter of the North American Indians. That's who Gad is, from the northern tribe of Israel. Go ahead, bro. They're separated themselves unto David into the hole, to the hole, to the wilderness man, men of might, and men of war, fit for the battle, and could handle shields and bucklers.
Hunter David, meaning David King David had Gary yeah, scouts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, was going about scouting out the land for King David. That's what it mean by they separated themselves. Warriors, man. Yeah, it was mighty warriors, man. The North American Indians, those are some mighty warriors, man. That's right. To this day, they are mighty warriors. See what I'm saying? Hey, I, I done been around a couple of Gadites, man. You think Judah got a quick fuse? Hey, yeah, got a quick fuse also, man. That's right. I done seen Gadites, when they get pissed off, they eyes get so big. You know what I'm saying? They be ready to cut your head off, man. That's right. Whose faces were like the faces of lions. That's right, they I mean they put on war paint. Yeah, they put on war paint. They were as swift as the rose. See, they were swift as deer. Rose are known as deer. Upon the mouth. See, that means Gad could run real fast, man. Gad was known, and Gad was known. The North American Indian, this is a known fact. The North American Indians, known as the tribe of Gad, of Gad don't you know they could run from, let's say from uh, Arizona, way to, uh, let's say, uh, let's say they could run from Arizona to here to Indianapolis without being tired. That was a known fact, man. They could travel by foot, let's say from the west coast, Arizona, way over here to Indianapolis, to the Midwest, without even being tired, without even taking a drink of water. They was fast, man. coming from. As soon as you touch them step, you got choo 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 That's nine right. arrows in your back. But you thought it was empty out here. Then as soon as you turn around and look, see where the arrows come from, and you turn back, you got a guy right there with a what a uh, a hatchet or an axe in his hand chopping your head off. Coming up out of nowhere man. They were expert warriors man. We're four and forty thousand and three scores that went out to war. See, that's a whole lot of Gadites, man. But you crack a slaughter more than that. Y'all crack a, you crack a slaughter uh, quadruple the amount. But again, it's just listed right here in the, in the Bible when you came here to America. Even Christopher Columbus, his real name, uh, Cristobal Colon, what's up, man? He even said that he did not put his sword down for 24 hours because of slaughtering so many Native Americans that was here in America, man. 
They killed over 100 million Native Americans here in America when they got here, man. But then they got this holiday set up called Thanksgiving. LeBron at home. Kissing on another dude. That's where LeBron at. Need to be asking where the Lord is. Fuck LeBron. LeBron ain't gonna save you. That's what's wrong with you, Negro. You asked the wrong damn question. Where LeBron at? Need to be asking where the Lord is, nigga. That's right. Quit wasting your money in them LeBrons. That's right. That ain't gonna get you saying that's not your salvation. Right. That's not the real king. You need to be asking about your king, your house shot, man. Your salvation is searching and looking for this word right here. That's right. Tell them again, bro. Your salvation is to look through this word right here. That's right. You gotta seek out your own.